So question in regards to the MS4, what, what happens if we don't qualify, if we don't have that permit, what, what happens to the city of, of uh, Escondido as far as legalities and consequences? We wouldn't be able to operate our storm drain system. So what would happen? He would flood during rain. but it would be um, a violation of the Clean Water Act. Chris, who goes to jail? <laughs> is it the city manager or is it the mayor? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. All right. And Chris kindly reminded me that if we continued to operate the storm drain system without a permit, we would be fine. subject to fines. But it basically, it boils down to fines. So. Uh, uh, in essence, an, an unfunded mandate. This is what you're going to do, and we're not going to provide any funding on the state or regional level for it. You guys, the city of Escondido, have to figure out how you're going to finance it, correct? Correct. Okay, complete unfunded mandate, completely in opposition to this. And uh, my parents, you know, said this all my, my entire life, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Really, really well intended, I understand that but it's the road to hell as far as I'm concerned because this is just the camel's nose in the tent uh, and going further and further into the process of uh, coming completely inside the tent. I am in agreement with what the mayor says is I'm not going to agree on anything that could be one iota above and beyond what is absolutely mandated to us by the state. I don't want us to be placing ourselves in a position where we are creating the possibility of further problems down the road because we were overreaching in our desire to, to uh, come up with a proposal with the state that's above and beyond what we absolutely have to do.